Hallelujah. It's another brand new day. Hallelujah. And I'm alive to say hallelujah to the Father who blessed us to have a brand new day. Good morning, everyone. I am a happy woman to still be alive in the land of the living. And I just come to share, to, to say a prayer and to share a few scriptures and pray that you will have a wonderful brand new day and that Father will grant you the petitions of your heart today, whether it be for your your home, you may need your roof fixed, you may need uh, your car fixed, you may need uh, finances for something. Well, I pray that our Heavenly Father will grant what you need right now. And you can say whatever else it is. Heavenly Father, we give honor unto you. We live to glorify your name. We thank you for Messiah Yahushua. And we thank you for the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you for the angels encamped around us. We thank you for every born again believer, Father, that's anybody or believers. We we praise you from the depth of our hearts. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read some scriptures and then we will we are say a prayer. Hallelujah. This is from 1 John because I'm reading for those that keep Father's commandments, those that understand that the commandments are never done away with. The enemy is making war continuously against those that, that keep Father's commandments or trying to keep Father's commandment. Uh, they're warred against, lied about, persecuted against, and told that Father's Day Sabbath was even done away with. The commandments were done away with. And you know that that's a lie. In First John, uh, starting at verse 1, it says, My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate before the Father, Yahushua HaMashiach, the righteous one. He himself is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world, which means whosoever will, let him come. By this we can be sure that we have come to know him, if we keep his commandments. If anyone says, I know him and does not keep his commandments, he is a liar and the truth is not in him. But if anyone keeps his word, the love of Yahuwah has been truly perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. Whoever claims to abide in him must walk as Yahushua walked. That means he kept the commandments. And in uh, 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 verse 7 it says, Beloved, I'm not writing to you a new commandment, but an old one which you have had from the beginning. This commandment is the message you have heard. Then again, I am also writing to you a new commandment, which is true in him and also in you. For the darkness is fading and the true light is already shining. If anyone claims to be in the light but hates his brother, he is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is no cause of stumbling in him. But whoever hates his brother is in the darkness and walks in the darkness. He does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I am writing to you, little children, because your sins have been forgiven through his name. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I am writing to you, children, because you know the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong in the word of you who abides in you, and you have overcome the evil one. And Father is writing to the men, women, and his children include men, women, and children. So we give praise and thanks to our Heavenly Father. And let us rem remember in Revelation 12, verse 17, that the enemy is making war against those that are keeping Father's commandments. Those commandments are, are linked with healing, restoration. It's linked with 
the sacrifice that Father Messiah did for us on that execution state cross. We don't have to go and kill uh, doves and things and, and uh, to atone for our sins. He atoned for our sins one time, and that was it. So I want to encourage those of you that keep the commandments and encourage you to pray for those that don't yet have the understanding that the commandments have never been done away with. We pray for their eyes to be open and their heart to come to understanding through their mind. So we give Father praise. So Heavenly Father, we well, want to thank you uh, for protecting us and watching over all of those of us that keep your commandments. We want to thank you, Father, for your Sabbath and your feast days that you have given to us. We thank you that we truly can call you our Father who art in heaven. We truly can say you who is our shepherd we shall not want. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, as you fight this continuous battle, hallelujah, with the, the enemy that come against our souls. Messiah said he prayed, not only for the ones that were with him, but he was praying for you to keep us from the evil. Hallelujah. And to take care of us. Almighty El Shaddai, there is none like you. No, there is not one like you who uphold us with your righteous right hand. I ask that you send your word right now into the heart, mind, and soul of anyone that is watching this video. I pray that you allow them to feel your presence, your anointing, your love right now. And I pray that you settle every issue in their hearts, whatever it may be. Hallelujah. Whatever it may be, if they are asking you for anything, or for healing, for restoration of marriages, and for reconnection of family members, communication to be open and for ears to be open to hear your truth. Heavenly Father, I praise and thank you for those that you worked through to bring forth a book that we call the Tanakh and we call it the Bible. I thank you, Father, for anointing all those people who kept the Sabbath. All of the writers that wrote the word kept the Sabbath. I want to thank you that, Father, they try to cast doubts on, on one of them. Like always, they pick something out to try to cast doubts on. But those that keep your commandments, hallelujah, you, we, it, uh, to keep the commandments and keep the uh, Sabbath, meaning keep the Sabbath as well as a sign that we know the true and living Elohim. Oh, Heavenly Father, be merciful to those that don't yet have the understanding, just as you have been merciful to us. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. By this we can be sure that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. If anyone says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, he is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But if anyone keeps his word, the love of Yahuwah has been truly perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. Whoever claims to abide in him must walk as Yahushua will walk. We can tell those that truly keep Father's commandments because they love all the different uh, people, races of people. Hallelujah. They don't put down one race and lift up another one. They have the love in their hearts demonstrating that they have the commandments and the full understanding of the fact that Father called us. And I don't want to close this on unless I pray for not only for Father to grant what you need for this day in your body, your heart, your soul, in your circumstances, but that he would grant you healing, restoration, and many, much joy today as we uh, today as we celebrate the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, and get ready for all the praying and repentance that we will be doing during the days of all. I pray that Father will touch our family members to ask questions about the Feast of the Trumpets so that they can be aware when they listen the sound of the shofar. Oh, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this brand new day. And I ask that you look in on all of our children and grandchildren generation that is born on this earth. 
hallelujah, that your word go forth, Father, and we pray that we that your word have broken all the generation curses that we were carrying and that they will not come up on our family members. Father, I thank you for being our comforter today. I thank you for being our creator and our father today. I thank you, Father, for being our doctor today. I thank you, Father, for being our father today. I thank you, Father, for being our mother today. I thank you, Father, for being our way maker today. Yahushua, I thank you for shedding your blood for us. I thank you that all authority have been given into your hands. I give praise to Almighty El Shaddai. I thank our Father. Hallelujah, as the sun and the moon and the stars look on, as the whole universe recognize, Father, recognize your children in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that opened our eyes so that we may see in our heart to understand. So, Father, send forth your word to every sickness, every illness. And I pray that they anoint them with faith to believe in the healing, Father. And I ask if there are any side effects or any medication that it will not hurt your people. I pray for their feet to be healed. I pray for the whole body to be healed and their minds to be open and yielded unto you. And that we reach out and help each other and that we not hold back, that we encourage and inspire each other on to greater works. Father, I pray that they, they, they praise you all day long, all day long. We thank you for all that you're doing. Open our eyes and give us more revelation along with understanding. And I pray, Father, you send your word into those that are making new laws on the book that will be against your people. I pray that you turn it upside down. I pray that you confuse it. I pray that you send your word where the witches and warlocks and all the other voodoo makers and things that are set up against us send your word into their camps right now and destroy all our work and destroy the arrows so that truth can be made known among your people hallelujah and i want to thank you again for attending to those in the jail those that are sick those that are fatherless mothers widows and orphans and those that are injustice have been done to them i thank you father for using the media using social media any media nbc abc cbs all fox news that you're using all of it no matter what it looks like you're using facebook youtube i want to thank you father for the writers and the dancers and the singers and etc and the writers hallelujah that we'll continue to reach out to each other and send forth love i just want to tell you all that i love you very much and that's a true statement i have love in my heart and I just want to help my father. I want to work for my father. Hallelujah. I want my light to shine everywhere I go. So that when I'm no longer here, somebody will be, somebody will remember that I walked through this earth around. And that I did what I, I could do to reach out to somebody. Hallelujah. To, to, to bring help to somebody and comfort. To give somebody a drink of water. I'm going to do the best I can with the strength that Father has placed in me. Please do the same. And we'll keep praying for one another. Thank you for interceding for me as well. And Father loves you. Hallelujah. Yahuwah Baruch you going out coming in. Yahuwah's counseling to shine upon you. Yahuwah grant you peace, wisdom, understanding, favor, counsel, knowledge. Hallelujah, and take away any fear, and take away all your troubles about your bills, home, mortgages, take away, may he take away all your troubles and let you know that he will supply all of your needs. Hallelujah, praise you, Yah. Baruch, Haba, Bishem, Yahuwah. Thank you, Yah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let the sun and the moon praise you and the stars. And then all the heavenly hosts praise you. The kings, the queens, the presidents. Uh, hallelujah. The congressmen, the senators, all of them. Touch them all to praise you throughout the world. The little boys, the little girls, the little babies in the womb that they praise in you. Hallelujah. Let the homeless praise you. Hallelujah. All through the world. 
The trees are praising you. The flowers are praising you. The fish in the sea, the birds in the air, and the animals praising you. Oh, Heavenly Father, you are marvel to behold. I want to thank you for everything, and I pray. Leave a blessing. Let them feel your presence as they listen to the video. And that they will know that you it is the Holy Spirit that's praying for everyone. May he grant, go your way today. And may he grant everything that you need for this day's journey and for this week. Hallelujah. Remember the new moon and the feast. And hallelujah. And bless our heaven, Baruch our heavenly father. And sing songs to him. Thank you, Yah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yah. Hallelujah. Today is the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, and the new moon is on this day. Clap, give a clap off unto the Most High. Hallelujah. Go in peace and may your body receive health, strength, and everything that you stand in need. Shalom, shalom, shalom. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new day. That's all I have to say. It's a brand.